Grace had already thought for a long time. She had known that if she were not shot when the gangsters arrived, she would be faced with her father's suggestion that she return to become a conspirator with him and his gang of thugs and felons, and she did not need any walk to reconsider her response to that. Even though the difference between the people she knew back home and the people she'd met in Dogville had proven somewhat slighter than she'd expected. Grace looked around at the frightened faces behind the window panes that were following her every step and felt ashamed of being part of inflicting that fear. How could she ever hate them for what was at bottom merely their weakness? She would probably have done things like those that had befallen her if she had lived in one of these houses. To measure them by her own yardstick, as her father put it. Would she not, in all honesty, have done the same as Chuck and Vera and Ben and Mrs. Henson? and Tom, and all these people in their houses. Grace paused, and while she did, the clouds scattered and let the moonlight through. And Donville underwent another of those little changes of light. It was as if the light previously so merciful and faint finally refused to cover up for the town any longer. The light now penetrated every unevenness and flaw in the buildings and in the people. And all of a sudden she knew the answer to her question all too well. If she had acted like that, she could not have defended a single one of her actions and could not have condemned them harshly enough. It was as if her sorrow and pain finally assumed their rightful place. Now, 
so hard to find I tried to reach for you But you have closed your mind Whatever happened to our love I wish I understood It used to be so nice It used to be so good So when you kneel me down Can't you hear me SOS The love you gave me Nothing else can save me SOS When you're gone Seatbelts and get out. <laughs> 